What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the garage. So I just thought uh, I wasn't going to work on cars today, but I sat there and checked on the car that I did yesterday. I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and make a video. Might as well strip a few cars because I'm about to strip some of the ones I've been working on. Some of the ones I didn't like that I just kind of put them back together, put them in the cabinet and just let them sit around until I decided what the hell I wanted to do. And I said, hell, yes I did. Uh, these two right here, these are going to be fresh customs. This is that 75 cent car from HEB. That's metal gears or whatever, but it's made by Maisto. So it's not a bad casting. They actually do make really great castings. And it's not bad on its own, but the wheels suck. Oh my lord, those wheels suck. So we'll go ahead and put that one in there. Uh, the Baja Bug that I stole the wheels from. I got a, a really cool color, and I've got one similar to this, so... It'll have some of that color back coming in. So we'll go ahead and let those sink in there for a minute. Uh, this is really what I, want, what I wanted to show you. Uh, this is the Glory Chaser that I did yesterday. Started to be a nice graphite flake in there. But if you can see it, can let me get this thing closer. Focus up here, okay. It wrinkled. Oh Lord, it wrinkled. Look at this. This is like an old prune. I mean, it's wrinkled everywhere, man. And I can tell you, I can tell you what I think it is and what it is, is uh, this can of paint, I've used it a lot and it was end of life pretty much. I, I had sprayed the first, you know, flash coat on there and uh, yeah, you can see it real good right there. Um, it started sputtering on me and it, it looked bumpy. So silly me, knowing better, could have just stopped. But no, I shook the hell out of it, and then I just held it down a continuous spray with a little helping hands and just gave it a nice wet coat on there. And it looked fantastic. Left it out there in the sun to dry, and it just started started pruning up. And I didn't see it until I got home today thinking I'm going to work on it. And ain't no wet sanding going to fix those pruny wrinkles. Throw that one in there, too. Man, they sink. I, I just love watching those things sink, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I have issues. <laughs> I have lots of issues. This one is that Silverado we just did the other day that I showed you. I got that dark splatter on the inside there and it puddled up real bad over here. So I kind of wet sanded it. So now this side, I hit it again with the orange. Sorry about shaking the, the table there. And uh, it doesn't match and I love this color. So it's going back in the stripper. And this will be the last time it goes in the stripper, y'all, because if you strip it too many times, you're going to ruin it, it. I don't know if it takes out the zinc or whatever, but you're going to have issues. You're going to have issues with, uh, I've had issues with primer going on there, letting it dry, and then spraying my top coat on there, my first coat, and having that primer bleed through because it didn't bond to the metal underneath. It happens. It happens. It's a thing. You can look it up. Um, this one is one that I did also, and I love this paint. And I got the car from Mike's Mods and Customs, the community build car, and I'm waiting for this paint to come in. And they have been out of it now for a month and a half. Beautiful paint, but I messed up. Messed up on this, messed up on the silver. Too much. Less is, less is more. Let's remember that. So, uh, God, I love this paint, though. Look at that. But there's some little stuff inside there, so... Oh, I hope Hobby Lobby gets this back. I don't want to have to pay Amazon prices on it because Amazon is crazy. It's only $19 for a three ounce can. Come on. I understand y'all do third party sellers, but you got to have a reason. You got to have a baseline that everyone needs to go off of. And then this gasser. When this happened with the top coat, I was like, you know what? I kind of like that hammered look. Again, this was that graphite paint from that one car. Uh, it's going to be a nice two tone, but look at this. For whatever reason, my clear coat, I don't know because it was winter time and it was, I warmed it up too much, not enough, I don't know. Tried wet sanding it down and it just, there's, there's no fixing that. Look at that. I mean, y'all, y'all see a lot of things I do and I'm going to show you that not everything works out. And that's okay, not everything you're going to do works out. That's life, okay? Uh, this one's been sitting over here for two months maybe no she's winter time so it was still cold in January February I don't even remember when I did this 
I'm sure I can go back and look on Instagram with you know where I showed a picture of it sitting on the on the helping hands. But it, it's one of those things, you know, you get frustrated. Even details after in the back. I mean that's not bad. Not good, but it's not bad. But things like this can frustrate you and sometimes it's best just to put it in one of these boxes right here. Put it in the box with all its parts and let it sit. Get over your madness. You know, get over your frustration and just uh Oh that truck fell forward, did you now? Well you you got buddies coming in, so you may better make room in the hot tub, son. But yeah, so I mean things happen, y'all. Don't let it frustrate you. Don't get angry. Uh, think of it as uh, it's all training, man. It, it's all practice, every bit of it. Some things turn out good, some things don't. All oh, those are all gone underneath, so let's go ahead and put the lid on that. Don't need any more accidents on this table. Yeah, so if you really love a casting, I love that Nova Gasser. I do, absolutely love it. I've done many of them. Um, if it doesn't work out, don't get angry, don't get frustrated, because when you're frustrated, the work gets worse, okay? The work absolutely gets worse, so don't do that. Uh, put it in the box, put it off to the side, forget about it for a couple weeks. Do something else, find something else, okay? I promise you, you'll be better off in the long run, your attitude will be better off in the long run, and uh, yeah, and y'all, this is such a strip. <laughs> But I don't change out my sits or strip. I just add to it when it gets too low. You know? Because this stuff still works. 24 hours later, I'm going to come back and these cars are going to be ready to go again. I'll re-clean them with the wire brush. I'll reprimer them. And I'll let them sit there and dry overnight or however long it's going to take. And, uh, yeah. Just uh, don't give up. I'm not happy with this car, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take out my anger on it right now. I kind of like the way that the front end turned out, so I'm gonna take that as a learning lesson and uh, let it sit up here on my desk until I get tired of looking at it, and then I'll probably take it off and salt chip it. Salt chipping's a great thing. Watch uh, Andrew at Maple Leafs Customs uh, salt chipping videos. I mean, it's it's not a hard thing to do. I've done it. Some of them turned out great, some of them didn't. We did some of them. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me show you. So I did that red, you saw that red blazer just went in. This was one of them salt chipping experiments that didn't work. So guess what? I wasn't happy with it, let it sit, and I made her better than before. So don't get frustrated, y'all. Don't get frustrated, be patient, and get better. And it's funny because that's the same paint that puddled up on me yesterday, that wrinkled up on that on that glory chaser. So that that's the number one lesson for today, okay? And, and take it from me, I make a lot of mistakes. Y'all see the good stuff, you don't always see the bad stuff. I see the bad stuff. I'm surprised, that, you know, I, I don't have more issues than I do. But in the end, y'all, this hobby is supposed to be fun. It's absolutely supposed to be fun. And it is. It's, a, it's great fun. And when you do something right, you want to show your friends. You want to show you want to show everybody, hey, check this out. I took this ugly thing. There was 75 cents, red and white, you know. And I made it. I made this. I made this. I made something that I would drive, you know. And, and that's like the joy in the hobby. So don't let little things happen. Paint's going to run. Paint's gonna puddle, you know. Clear coat's not gonna work right. It's not gonna dry right. You're gonna get fingerprints, even though it's dry to the touch. When you go to screw down those screws, you're gonna get fingerprints because it hasn't cured completely. Because humidity's too high. It's too cold outside. It's it's too hot outside. <laughs> you know, there's all kinds of factors, and these are factors that you learn as as you progress along in, in your journey. And y'all, I'm gonna tell you right now. First, uh, first Instagram post for this thing that I'm doing was uh, May 31st so one year and nine days that's how long I've been customizing a year and 
I can look at the stuff that I have done and, and look where I'm at now and I can see the progression, you know? And so don't give up, don't get discouraged. Take everything as, as a teachable moment and if something frustrates you, throw it in the box, throw it on your desk and just look at it. And every day you look at it and say, you know what, I, I, I rushed that, you know? Or I, I should have waited a little longer on the time before between coats, you know? There's all kinds of things you're gonna learn along your journey as well. And you can look and there are a ton of customizers on YouTube, a ton of guys, a ton of great guys. Guys putting out custom work, great custom work. But I can guarantee you that they have made mistakes and the good ones will tell you about it so you don't do it, you know, and that's how, that's how you learn. You know, you fail, fall down, you get back up, do it again, tomorrow's a new day, right? Tomorrow may be sunny to tomorrow, you know, instead of being rainy the day before. Paint's gonna come better and dry better on those sunny days. So, always look for the sunny days, y'all. And as always, I love it when you stop by the garage. Absolutely do love it. I love visiting with y'all, love talking to y'all. So until the next time you're at the garage, be safe, be well, and be kind. Always be kind. Until the next time you're at the garage, I'll see you later, grease monkeys.